Welcome! Today we're submerging ourselves into the enchanting world of fish keeping. Picture this. A tranquil underwater haven, right in your living room. Sounds appealing, right? But where to begin? Fear not, we're here to demystify the process, guiding you through the essentials of setting up your very own aquatic utopia. From choosing the perfect aquarium to understanding the nitrogen cycle, from aquascaping to selecting your fish, we've got you covered. Ready to embark on this aquatic adventure? Let's dive in. Keeping fish can be a rewarding and therapeutic experience. With a flicker of fins and a splash of color, they bring a piece of the underwater world right to your living room. But beyond the tranquility and beauty, fish keeping is about creating a healthy environment for these aquatic creatures to thrive. It's akin to being a guardian of a mini ecosystem, a responsibility that's as exciting as it's fulfilling. You'll learn about different species, their behaviors, and how they interact with their environment. The wonderful thing about fish keeping is its versatility. You might opt for a freshwater setup, creating a vibrant community tank or a biotope that mimics a specific natural habitat. Alternatively, you may explore unique ecosystems like ponds or brackish water aquariums. Each choice presents its own joys and challenges, making fish keeping an endlessly fascinating hobby. But before you dive in, it's essential to understand the basics. The first step in your fish keeping journey is choosing the right aquarium. This decision is crucial as it sets the stage for your entire underwater world. Consider the needs of your prospective fish species, how many you plan to house, and the space you have available. Aquariums come in all shapes and sizes, from small nano tanks to large room dominating setups. The size of your tank will directly impact the number and type of fish you can keep. A larger tank provides more room for your fish to swim, hide, and exhibit natural behaviors. Next, let's talk about materials. Glass and acrylic are the two most common aquarium materials. Glass is generally cheaper and less prone to scratching, but it's heavier and less insulating. Acrylic, on the other hand, is lighter, more durable, and provides better insulation but can scratch more easily. Remember, the well-being of your fish begins with their environment. Choose wisely, and you'll be off to a great start on your fish keeping adventure. Now, let's talk about an essential yet often overlooked aspect of fish keeping, the nitrogen cycle. Picture it as an invisible yet vital part of your aquarium's ecosystem. So what exactly is it? Well, it's a natural process where beneficial bacteria convert harmful waste products into less harmful substances. It starts when your fish produce waste, which contains ammonia, a substance that's toxic to fish. Thankfully, we have our microscopic friends, the beneficial bacteria, who break down this ammonia into nitrites. But wait, nitrites are also harmful. Don't worry, other bacteria step in to convert these nitrites into nitrates, which are much less harmful and can be absorbed by plants or removed through regular water changes. This cycle is crucial for maintaining a healthy environment for your fish. Remember, patience is key. It takes time to establish this cycle, so don't rush to add fish to a new tank. A well-established nitrogen cycle is the cornerstone of a healthy aquarium, Designing your underwater landscape or aquascaping can be a fun and creative process. It's like interior designing but for your fish. The first step is choosing your substrate. This could be sand, gravel, or soil depending on the type of plants you want and the needs of your fish. Next, you have your hardscape elements. These are the rocks, driftwood, and other non-living things that give your aquarium structure. They create hiding spots for your fish and anchor points for your plants. Speaking of plants, they're the final piece of the aquascaping puzzle. There's a world of aquatic plants to choose from, each with its own needs and aesthetic appeal. Some plants are easy to care for and great for beginners, like Anubias or Java Fern. Others, like Dwarf Hairgrass or Monte Carlo, require a bit more attention. Remember, your aquascape should not just look good, it should also cater to the needs of your fish and plants. Your aquascape should be a harmonious blend of aesthetics and functionality. With your aquarium set up and cycled, it's time to choose your fish. The world of aquatic life is teeming with diverse species, each with its own unique requirements. When choosing your fish, it's important to ensure they're compatible tank mates. Some fish are sociable and enjoy company, while others need their own space. You'll want to create a peaceful community where each fish can thrive. Consider beginner-friendly species that are hardy and adaptable. Guppies, for example, are vibrant and active, making them a popular choice. Betta fish, with their flowing fins and array of colors, are another excellent option. But remember, each fish species has its own needs. Some prefer warmer water, others thrive in cooler temperatures. 
Some are carnivores, some are omnivores, and others are vegetarians. It's crucial to research each species' specific requirements to ensure they'll thrive in your tank. Remember, every fish is unique and deserves a suitable environment. Now that you have your fish, it's essential to maintain a healthy aquarium environment. The key to a thriving aquatic habitat lies in regular upkeep and monitoring. Basic maintenance tasks include changing part of the water periodically, which helps eliminate waste and replenish essential minerals. Cleaning your filter regularly ensures it functions optimally, trapping detritus and maintaining water clarity. But it's not just about cleanliness. The chemistry of your water is equally important. Regular testing allows you to monitor and adjust parameters like pH, temperature, and the levels of ammonia, nitrites and nitrates. These factors can significantly impact the health of your fish, and keeping them in balance is crucial. Also, keep an eye out for signs of common fish diseases. Early detection and treatment can often mean the difference between life and death for your aquatic pets. Remember, a well-maintained aquarium equals happy, healthy fish. And there you have it, the basics of starting your own aquarium. We've walked you through the exhilarating process of setting up your tank, understanding the nitrogen cycle, designing your aquascape, and selecting your fish. We've also highlighted the importance of regular maintenance to keep your underwater sanctuary thriving. Remember, every aquarium journey is unique, filled with learning, challenges, and immeasurable joy. Your aquatic adventure awaits. Dive in, and discover the wonders of the underwater world.